Hello and welcome to the Microwave Engineering lecture titled Network Performance Metrics. In this lecture, we will learn how inserting a two-port network into a system affects the performance of said system. The performance metrics are going to be measured by the performance of the system without the network versus the performance of the system with the network. First, we're going to take a look at insertion loss. Insertion loss quantifies how much less power is delivered to the load due to inserting the network between the source and the load. It's equal to Li, which is 10 log 10, of the power delivered to the load without the network over the power delivered to the load with the network. In transmission parameters, it's equal to this. We can invert this expression to calculate insertion gain, which is going to be equal to 10 log 10 of the power delivered to the load with the network over the power delivered to the load without the network. Notice that insertion loss is calculated relative to real parameters as opposed to an ideal network and system. We can also do the same for insertion phase which quantifies how much the phase changes at the load when the network is inserted between the source and the load, which is equal to theta i, which is the phase after inserting the network minus the phase before inserting the network, and is given by this expression. This insertion phase parameter is also relative to reality as opposed to an ideal network or system. Now we will take a look at transducer loss. The network or transducer can perform impedance matching and actually increase the power delivered to the load. However, the transducer probably also dissipates energy and therefore is also responsible for some of the losses. Here transducer loss is given by LT which is equal to 10 log 10 of the power available from the source over the power delivered to the load which is also given by this expression. Notice that transducer loss is relative to ideal values. We can invert this expression to calculate transducer gain too, which will be equal to 10 log 10 of the power delivered to the load over the power available from the source. Something important to note is that the insertion loss is equal to the transducer loss when the impedance of the source is equal to the impedance of the load. This is typically the case in microwave engineering. Given this, the actual power gain through the network is given by this expression, which is going to be equal to or less than 1 for passive networks. And then the maximum gain available from the network is given by this which is equal to the maximum power delivered to the load over the maximum power of the source. Now, mismatch loss is how much less power is delivered to the load due to reflection. It is given by Lm and it's equal to 10 log 10 of this expression. Dissipative loss. The overall loss from the source to the load is the transducer loss. The power loss either reflects back to the source, which is Lm, or is dissipated as heat inside the network or transducer, which is L sigma. Therefore, the dissipative loss given by Lt is equal to the power loss reflecting back to the source plus the dissipated heat inside the network, Lm plus L sigma. Now we will take a look at the special case of a conjugate match system and its different parameters. When both the input and output ports are matched, we have that the local reflection gamma s gamma l equals zero. The global reflection gamma in equals the s11, global reflection gamma out equals s22. The power available is given by this expression P in is given by this, P L given by this, G is this expression, 
the maximum power delivered to the load is this. The maximum power delivered to the load is this and GT is this expression.